Hi everyone, this is Hibba from My Little Journal and today I'm going to be working in my project life. This is week 37, 2018. And before I start, I wanted to share the kit that I will be using on my spread today. It is the new Kelly Perky main kit and it's called My Space. I love this kit. I love the stamp set. It's very basic, very pretty. There's a lot of phrases about home, like welcome to my home, my space, I love coming home. Little things like that that you can use on any spread. I'm also sharing the 4x6 really pretty cards. And of course, there's a 4x6 card that is full of labels that you can fussy cut out and use on your spread. The three by fours are as pretty and I love the pinks and the oranges and the uh, greens. They're just so pretty and there's a lot of little images from your home like this dining set or couches and lamps that you can use on your spreads. Now this kit is themed and I wanted to share with you how you can use a themed kit on a non-theme layout. And my week is from different moments throughout the week, or my photos are from different moments throughout the week, and um, I'm still going to be able to use this kit. I'm literally just going to end up trying to match the colors together. And I have one photo that's in my home and one photo in the backyard. So I just decided that I'm going to end up using this kit to document those special moments. And um, even if I end up um, kind of going off theme with the kit, if that makes sense. So I'm gonna go ahead and start with my four by six card. And this is where I'm t what I'm talking about, where this four by six has leaves on it. And I do have a photo with a leaf, so I thought it works perfectly. I'm also gonna end up using my new Kelly Perky number stamps. These are the Highline large stamps. Love these stamps. And I thought this that I would change it up a little bit in my project life and start using these number stamps to add my week. So I end up stamping 37, and then I'm gonna grab one of my Feed Your Craft stamp sets that has the week stamp. And I'm gonna stamp that on like right on top of um, the end of my three. <laughs> so uh, it just fit in perfectly, and I really like how that looks. So I ended up using that week stamp from Feed Your Craft. And by the way, I sometimes forget the names of the stamp sets that I'm using, but I always add all the stamp sets that I use in the description box for you guys if you want to check them out. I'm going to end up using Bless This Mess stamp from the kit or from the stamp set, and I thought it just worked perfectly with um, my week because it was a crazy week full of all kinds of different things. So I'm just going to fussy cut that out and add it to my title card. Once I uh, kind of figure out where I want to add that stamp, I'm going to staple it down and then I'm going to move on to this 3x4 card to add some journaling. I'm just going to take it to my typewriter and journal about my week. Like um, this 4x6 photo at the top is the marching band when they went and did some volunteering, which I wanted to mention in my journaling. Uh, I mentioned about my son having a sleepover, little things like that. Um, I'm just going to add some color to my journaling card by using some of my scrapbook.com ink pads. And I stamped out the home and added some of that pink from my spread. And I'm also going to end up stamping a little phrase right under my journaling. Now this 4x6 photo of my son's sleepover, it's kind of a funny story and I'm going to let you in on it in a bit, but I decided to add a flip pocket because um, I love this 3x4 card with the couch and lamp and I just really wanted to add sleepover, but I didn't want to add it to that card if that makes sense. So I end up adding a, a kind of a flip pocket and then I'll use some of my Kelly Perky Alpha stamps to stamp out sleepover on the opposite side. So when you flip the flip pocket over, you'll see that it was a sleepover. But my son had a bunch of friends sleeping over and we have plenty of room in the house for you know kids to share a room or a bed, but they all ended up sleeping in the living room. I literally woke up, came down 
and found them all just scattered all over the living room with their blankies and their pillows and I thought it was hilarious and then I when they woke up I asked them why did you guys all just sleep in the living room we have bedrooms and beds and um, they made me laugh because they told me that they were watching scary movies all night and they were too afraid to go and sleep in separate rooms so they all decided to sleep in the living room and I thought it was adorable and it was hilarious just to find all these kids sleeping in your living room. By the way, that alpha stamp, I believe, is the Louise alpha stamp from uh, Kelly Perky. Love that alpha stamp. It's just so cute. And um, I'm done with that card, so I'm going to go ahead and slide it through. And I love that look where half of my picture is showing and the other half is a card. And it really helps kind of use up some of your cards from your kits. I'm going to grab this 4x6 photo of my son's marching band tennis shoes. They are horrendous. Literally, they're probably a month old, but they look horrible. They have holes. I journaled about it on my photo. I really wanted to document it. And I thought the perfect stamp would be the new Kelly Perky stamp that I believe it's called O oh Beep. And I'm going to stamp out O oh Poop. And then I'm going to add that poop emoji. And I had the perfect ink pad to fill out that poop emoji um, and I just stamped them in a label and then I'm going to stick down that label to or right above my journaling. So in the stamp set that came with the kit, there's this little box that says in the, and you can kind of fill it out with bathroom, kitchen, office. So I'm going to add backyard because this is a photo of my daughter standing right in front of our fig tree, which has gotten so big, uh, knock on wood, and it's been providing us with really yummy figs. So I'm just going to fill that out. I'll fussy cut it out and just add it to my three by four photo. I'm just going to finish up this layout by um, stamping a little phrase right in the center of that 3x4 photo of me holding the leaf. I believe I end up using um, one of Kelly Perky's fall stamps. I think it's called Fall or I Love Fall. And there was a really cute little phrase that I thought fit perfectly in my leaf uh, photo. So I'm just going to grab that add that to the leaf photo and then call my layout done. I hope this was helpful to give you some ideas on how you can use these themed kits on your spreads. Um, I hope you enjoyed watching this video and if you did please give me a thumbs up and if you are new to my channel please consider subscribing and I hope to see you guys very soon. Bye!